Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the camera tracker in After Effects to do some uh, very basic tracking. Um, we have this uh, concrete ring here where the camera is kind of just uh, handheld moving around it. And what we will be doing is we will actually be adding a spider web. Um, very simple and not that realistic looking. But it's just again to, to, to get the, the grasp and the concept of the 3D uh, camera tracker that is built into After Effects. So the first step is to take the 3D tracking.mp4 file that I have here, uh, full HD, drag it onto the new composition so that we get a clean comp. And well, then we'll just start the track camera over here. If you don't have the tracker dialog open already, you can go to window and click the tracker, then it'll open. Otherwise, you can go to the animation tab up here and choose track camera. A lot of ways to just access uh, that specific function. But I'll click it in my tracker panel here. So track camera and it'll start analyzing, get the overview in the effects dialog over here, go through all the frames. Depending on your system speed, this can take a long time or it can just go pretty fast. And as soon as it is done analyzing all the frames, it'll create a camera solve so that you get all of these small tracking dots. This is again very dependent on um, how much detail there is in the video that you're using. For instance, this uh, kind of work on a complete green screen background is, well, pretty horrible to work with because there are no real contrast points for the tracker to work with. But in this case, we have a lot of visual information that we can use. I, I've seen a lot of people tend to just hover over these points trying to find a triangle that would work for them. But it's actually very simple to just select these points. So click one point, hold control, and click multiple other points so that you can actually select a plane of, of reference. And in this case, I'll just select a few of these tracking points that it has generated around the, uh, the ring here just to, get a, just to get a good track of that plane. So as soon as I've selected these uh, points that I want to use, I can right click and I get a couple of different options. I can create a text and camera. So no matter what I do, it'll always create a camera. This camera will then be based on the camera solve so this camera will move like the original camera did in comparison to these uh, tracking points that we have just analyzed. I can create the text and the camera. I can create a solid and a camera, a null and a camera, and I can create a shadow catcher layer if I want with a camera and a light so that I can do some compositing work uh, with shadows. Text is pretty obvious. It'll create just some text. Solid will of course create a solid plane that'll be placed upon this area. The null will give me some null tracking information that I can just use the null like I can with the normal track motion. I'll create a null and a camera. So now I have a tracking null here that is based on this tracking plane that I have selected. So it seems to stick pretty well in place here. And I have the camera. And if we go to, instead of the active camera, I can go to the top view. If I zoom out, you can actually see the camera movement that we have here. I'll go back to active camera. In my project here, I have a spiderweb.jpg, quick Google search for vector spiderweb and I found this one here. So I'll drop it into my scene here. And well, at first, I'll just make it a bit smaller so you can actually see it. At first, of course, it's black with a white background, doesn't really composite that well. So the first thing I'll do is I'll invert the colors. So I will go to my effects and presets over here and I will write invert. So I'll get the channel invert here, drop it onto my spiderweb and it will invert the colors for me. Then in the blending mode here, if you can't see these drop downs, it means that you have clicked the toggle switches and modes at the bottom, which means that you can see all of these small switches. We want to see the modes. Instead of normal, I will set this to screen. Then I will just position it so that it kind of fits the frame and also move it around a bit. So now we'll click the toggle switches and modes and set it to a 3D layer because it needs to rotate in 3D and the camera also needs to be able to see this spider web in, in, in 3D, as well as the track null has automatically been set to a 3D layer. That's what this little box here means. So normally you would take the spiderweb.jpg here and just parent it to the track, but because it's a 3D layer, as soon as we would set the spiderweb.jpg to track to the, uh, to the null object, it would be the relative position to the null object in world space, which means that the spider web would actually be hovering way above the uh, concrete ring here. So there's a small fix for that. If you take the parent pick web here and you hold down shift, 
and you drag the selector to the track null and you let go, it'll actually take up that position of the null as well. So it'll actually stick in place here. And the only thing left for us to do now is to uh, select the spider web. Once again, just have the position of it match the area that we want. So like this. And now if I ram preview it, so now the spider web sticks in place and seems semi-realistic. But again, this is just to show the concept of what you can use the track camera function in After Effects for. This has been a short tutorial about the camera tracker in After Effects. Thank you for watching.